So here we are with exercise number 3C, which is called something like looking at feature attributes. We had already a look into feature attributes. Um, so we will start with the, with this new project, same layers as in the 3B. So what we can do is on the right hand we have something called the attribute table. So you can open the attribute table to each shapefile. So also for the flight path open attribute table there are the flights. You can also go here diverging flight path and well I think we should start maybe with the cities which is more or less the biggest table in that project and we'll rescale it here for the moment. So these are parameters or attributes and each attribute has a cell or an information for one feature. So there's another possibility to arrange it. So we will uh, well we will just make it a little bit smaller and that I can show you uh, what I'm talking about. So um, these are or every line in that is another feature. In this case, as it is a, a point shape file, it is a certain point on the map. You can easily adjust the width of each attribute table here, like you like you are used to that in Excel or something like that. You can also hide uh, some information. So if you are not interested, if it's a capital or not, just click it here and say, well, this. And so this line is a little bit thicker, as it is in normal mode, so it is hidden. You can also use um, you can select that attribute capital and by right clicking you can delete that field you should stick with that and you can also adjust the position of that field so if you want to have the name of it in the first and then I oh know that was a little bit too far there and then the country you can easily adjust that so there's also the attribute name visible here so this is departure you can have a look in the, the field properties of that so this is now a date field which has uh, certain reglementations also the elevation here is something called a short integer which means that you cannot write uh, that you cannot write uh, decimal uh, decimal numbers in that and but um, yeah it is another possibility of storing information. So we'll cancel that. And what else shall we do? So yeah, there are 28 entries in that. So you can also see it here. One out of 28 is selected. And the one that is selected is a point in my uh, well, the city Miami. And by right clicking on that, on the first little arrow here, you can go to uh, you can choose zoom to which means that the map is zooming to that to give an insight where this point is located so that's at the moment I think no there's one more thing so you can also clear the selection right clicking on that clear selected or you can also use this little table options over here and say clear selection so no uh, feature is selected. We will go to the whole layer. So there we are. And what else is, uh, is to do? So you can also um, how, to, how to call it um, order information. So the easiest ordering is uh, in numeric uh, in numeric attributes. So you can just choose elevation and say sort descending. So the biggest elevation is here in Tucson in the US and you can also adjust by or we will go to another one the flight path which is a set of uh, line features open the attribute table so the first flight was from Oakland to Tucson and what we will do now is we will choose the length fun uh, length attribute and we will sort it as well as scanning so the longest flight was from Natal to San Luis Ooh, so find out where is Natal go back to this one name and you can also um, cal field calculator well what is that oh we will choose that later on um, 
what I will do now is I will also sort that as ending so we'll start by cities with A and natal so this is in Brazil and so the longest flight for us was from natal to the uh, western part of Africa over here in San Luis oh. so that's it what else to do you can have easy statistics on that so you can have a statistics on precipitation just by right clicking on that and there it is called statistics a new window will appear and as we have just marked here one cell it will get you only the information or the statistics about that one cell so right click once again clear selected rechoose precipitation or precip and go to statistics then you will have a statistics over the annual um, annual precipitation in um, the cities Amelia Earhart landed and you can also use that of course um, in the flight path open the attribute table length and say um, statistics so there we are so the more uh, the most or the distribution is that they uh, yeah the mean uh, length of each trip was 1318 kilometers and the longest one was over here so the maximum value was 3184 kilometers from natal to san luis so that is uh, exercise number three c we will follow up with the exercise four which will cover exploring arc catalog um so something like you know, or arranging mm, and managing your data without having a look on that map thank you very much for watching and keep to uh, stay tuned yeah